So basically, I want to talk about my favorite show. Undisputed is not coming to an end, but Skip and Shannon is coming to an end. So it's Undisputed with Skip and Shannon. That part's coming to an end. Shannon's actually going to another network or another show. I'm not 100% sure. All the details haven't been confirmed. Uh, the word is Skip Bayless is actually going to be teaming up with LaShawn McCoy. We'll see how that goes, but there's no replacing uh, Shannon Sharp. And this is a show that I've been watching faithfully. Well, I haven't really been watching, but I've been listening to every single podcast. I would even download the full podcast because they have the best of, you know, the best cl- best of the day and they have the full version. I've been listening to the full version since the beginning. Like, I've listened to every single episode, basically. Like, I've been dedicated. You know, I've been through the different moderators. I've been through the guest speakers. I love Chris Broussard. I love uh, Rob Parker. You know, some of the guests that come on the show. You know, I like Broussard's take on basketball. But, um, yeah, so this is this is, um, this is is a sad day, you know. Um, Shannon, I think he had his last show, was it last week, last Wednesday? So now I'm like, I don't even know what to listen to. I listen to First Take. I listen to... Um, uh, what's that other show with Rob Parker and Chris Broussard? It's called um, The Odd Couple. You know, it's pretty entertaining. I uh, listen to The Herd. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So basically, um, it's ending because there's some tension between Skip and Shannon. Um, as you, So basically, uh, the, the one hope that I have for this show is actually related to Jen Hill. I think Jen Hill is actually a very good moderator. I think she's actually the GOAT. So in, in this video, I'm actually going to get into why I think Jen Hill is actually the GOAT, um, why she's an excellent moderator, you know, why this show has hope because of her. I think I'm definitely going to be, inter- you know, I'm definitely still going to be watching the show, but you know, I'll be watching both shows. I'll be watching where Skip goes. I mean, where Shannon goes, and I'll be watching, you know, both shows. But I think a good moderator, you know, I think Jen is definitely special, and I think she adds an extra dimension to the show because something about Jen, like how she's a, she's such a huge New Orleans fan, like she's always into, you know, like I'm glued to my seat whenever New Orleans loses or New Orleans wins, I want to hear what she has to say, she kind of, she kind of has like a little bit of, she always has like a little bit of something to say, you know, when it's the Pelicans, for example, Um, so she adds that extra dimension, you know, to the show, and I I really enjoy that. I think they should definitely do whatever they can to hold on to to Jen Hill because I, I definitely think she's a very valuable piece. Obviously, she's a you know she's a moderator, so like there's limited impact that a moderator could, moderator can have on a show. It's kind of like how in sports you have a you know it's like a, a bad team might have a really good closer you know in baseball, which you know what difference to, you know it doesn't make a huge difference, but it's it definitely something like or let's say a. A bad football team has a really good kicker or you know like a or they might have a really good wide receiver but nothing else you know so what you know what I mean like there's only so much impact a moderator can have but I think she definitely spices things up a little bit and I think they definitely have to you know definitely have to keep track they definitely have to hold on to her because <laughs> I definitely think she's very valuable um, so I'm definitely gonna definitely still gonna watch the show what a moderator does in a sports show is basically so these are the moderators that I'm going to focus on today Uh, what a moderator does is they basically manage a sports show Um, so in this new debate format they have like two different debaters that go up against each other they can they debate on sports they you know sports topics 
So basically, what a debater, what what the debaters are supposed to do is they're supposed to just debate. Like they're supposed to show up and just debate. They're not supposed to worry about the time. They're not supposed to worry about like managing each other's times, like how much time each debater has to debate, or um, you know, transitioning to commercial breaks. That's a moderator's job. So a good moderator um, does that. And I think all these moderators are excellent. I'm just going to be focusing on the female moderators because there there are some male moderators. Like you know, I think. Uh, uh, Nick Wright or, you know, some of those guys. I'm not going to focus on those guys because these are actual true moderators. They're designated moderators. That's, that's their job is to focus just on, you know, the managing the, the day-to-day operations of a debate show. So I'm going to be focusing on these moderators. Let's, let's take a look at um, how a moderator sets the table real quick. So that's how a, that's how you set the table. So notice how she's setting the table. Um, she's preparing the she's preparing the topic, you know, for the debaters. You know, she's setting the table basically. So that's what a you know that's what all moderators do. So this one isn't this isn't really specific to her or special to her, but it's just like what moderators generally do. There's a number of things that I think that makes a, a good moderator. Um, I, and just to be on the clear, just to be clear, I think all these moderators are really good. I think they all know what they're doing. Um, but the first thing I think is organization. Like I said, um, they, 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 basically their job is to organize the show, keep everything organized, keep the, you know, they're supposed to manage time. And like I said, the debaters are supposed to just worry about debating, you know, nothing else. You know, debaters' job is just to get on and debate they shouldn't be keeping track of the time their their job is just to be you know 100 percent their best so to, you know to be at their best they're not you know looking over their shoulder how much time do i have um that's the point of some people think that moderators aren't really necessary they're absolutely necessary you need to have a good moderator you know to run the show so i think their job should not go underappreciated um another good feature is you got to stay out of the way you know, I think a good moderator. <laughs> I think a good moderator um, knows her role. Um, you got to be humbled. You can't. Um, the show's not. You know, skip Shannon and Jen or skip Shannon and Molly. You know, it's not like that. You know, you gotta you gotta know your role. You gotta be humbled, and that's what a good moderator does. Is they just, you know, they stay humbled, and they stay out of the way because they know it's not it's not really about them. You know, it takes a little bit of humbling to realize that, but. To be a good moderator, you have to know it's not about you. You get a little, get your little jabs in a little bit, your your little, um, you know, words, and then get out of the way because the show is really, you know, well, it was about Skip and Shannon, but now, um, you know, but it's really generally about the debaters. You know, you saw first take, um, you know, with, you know, it was with Stephen A. and and uh, Max Kellerman. I used to watch that show, but unfortunately, they got rid of Max, so it's not really quite as entertaining, but. You know, you saw in, the, in that show, those guys, literally their job was just to debate. The moderators, you know, did the rest. So basically, um, now I'm going to get into the GOAT debate. So this is the fun part. So basically, um, in a, any GOAT debate, what happens is you have to be, you have to be critical of, of great talent. You know, so like anytime you see like a, a GOAT debate, like Tom Brady versus uh, Joe Montana, for example, those are all-time great players. They're, they're not really deserving of any criticism, but because it's a GOAT debate, you got to debate. You got to um, criticize. You know, you have to find critiques. So, uh, with Michael Jordan and LeBron James, those guys they're not deserving of any criticism because I mean they're all-time greats. They're literally number one and number two. However you put them, you know, if you think if you think Michael Jordan's number one, then 
I'd go Jordan if you think um, LeBron's number one. I, I personally still go with, I think Michael Jordan's just a little bit better, but, but we, we can get into that anytime. Like, now is not the time. We, I, I could go another hour, you know, and that good debate. We're not going to do that. But basically, um, good debates are tough because you have to critique. Um, so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to critique. I think, like I said, I think all these girls are great. They're great at what they do, but um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to have the tough job of critiquing them in order to make my case for Jen Hale. But uh, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so <laughs> basically I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rank them. So I'm going to rank them in order. So I'm going to go from five all the way to one, and that's how I'm going to do it. So we got these five moderators. Uh, number five, I have Molly Kiram. I think that she's, I think that she's an excellent, um, I think that she's an excellent moderator. She knows what she's doing. She's, she manages the time well and everything. Um, but I think the biggest problem with Molly is she's just a little bit too, like she gets in the way just a little bit too much, you know. And, um, you know, just during the day-to-day -day debates, you know, she, I, I think she's, she has a really strong opinion, which I think is great, but it's just, sometimes it's just not the time and place to, um, you know, it's not the time, time and the place to, you know, share your opinion. I think she has a strong opinion. It's great, but um, that's, only, that's my main criticism. Like I said, this is a good debate, so it's really hard to, like, at some point I have to be critical. I have to um, critique, unfortunately, but, um, you know, that's, that's just how good debates go. So, unfortunately, I have to, unfortunately, I have to be, yeah, I'm sorry, Molly. <laughs> but I'll do my critique, so basically I'm, I'm going to go, um, I, I'd put her at number five. Like I said, these are all great debaters, you know, I mean, I mean, great uh, moderators, but, uh, so I put her at number five, I would say, so I would say Jenny Taft, number four, <laughs> I'm sorry, Jenny, but um, I think she's a great moderator, obviously, she knows what she's doing, she's really good, but um, I think part of the moderator's job is to keep the peace, like, you got to be peaceful, you got to, um, I'm not saying you should not talk, like, obviously, you want to input your and she she definitely has a lot of input, you know. And I do like how she's a Minnesota fan. She's a Vikings fan. She's a, you know, she's a Wolves fan. She's you know, Twins fan. She's just a fan. You know that 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 is kind of interesting. Not quite the fan that Jen Hill, Jen is because I feel like Jen is a very strong uh, fan of the New Orleans teams. But I just think that with with Jenny Taft, I think I think the biggest thing was like she would get into it with Skip. I'm not saying Skip was, I'm not saying that she was wrong. I think she was right in everything that she did, but I think at some point, I think really the thick skin, I think maybe she doesn't have, you know, quite the thick enough skin to um, to handle people like Skip Bayless. And I think with any other um, debater, she'd be fine. On any other show, she'd be fine. But um, Skip does have a history of running people away. So like I said, I think Skip is definitely the problem in that situation. But um and like I said, this is a good debate, so I have no choice but to <laughs> critique on like the, the tiniest. And that's what you do, like in good debates, you critique on the tiniest details, the very you know the very tiniest details. You got to critique, and I think that's what. Um, unfortunately, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, I have to um, critique. You know, so basically, um, that's that's why I put. Um, Jenny, t and she's like I said, she's not wrong in any of the interactions, you know, with the Mike McCarthy situation where she defended because Skip Bayless was definitely out of line with his comments on Mike McCarthy, you know, 100%. So I would have to, um, but I, I just, I still think that, I still think that overall you just have to keep the peace. And like I said, it is a good debate. So I have to, just give me one second. Oh man, this is hard. So I have Molly at number five, I have Jenny Taft at number four. I'm going to have to go with Carrie Champion at number three. I think she's excellent. You know, she also had, she, she, she was, Carrie Champion basically got promoted to, um, to be on Sports Center, And, uh, she left first take, um, when it was like in its, you know, earlier seasons. So basically, um, <laughs> so she, you know, so she, she was gone, but like, I, I think that she was excellent, you know, at what she did. And I guess my biggest critique on her would be, I don't really have much, honestly, I don't really have much to critique on her. I think she was an excellent, you know, debater. 
Um, at this point, we're talking about like the top three mods, in my opinion. I think she was she was excellent. She had, now maybe maybe it's her her skin wasn't quite thick enough to deal with Skip Bayless because she left Skip. But but apparently, you know, so did a lot of other moderators. Like a lot of other other, other moderators didn't want to work with her. So um, that's what I would say is. I don't really have much of a criticism on this, but I would, I'd basically place her at number three. Number two, Jory Taylor is my um, second favorite, but I think she's also the second best moderator. Um, like I said, not to be confused with a, a moderator from Twitch or anything like that. You know what a, you know what a moderator is. Um, manage day-to-day -day operations of the sports show. Yeah, I think um, Jory Taylor... <sighs> Jory Taylor was, like, very peaceful. Like, she... Like any issues that they had, like any issues that she may have had with Skip, was all you know was all under the table. Like you just never hear about it. But apparently she left. But I think she did a great job keeping everything under wraps. I think she did a great job. Um, like I said, you know what makes a good moderator? Um, let me pull up that list again. Organization, manage time. Yeah, I think she did a great job staying out of the way. And unfortunately, that's what you have to do as a moderator. Like sometimes you have opinions, but you gotta you gotta stay out of the way. And I think she did a great job of that. She did a great job keeping the peace. So I'd put her at number two, and then number one is Chen Hill in the middle. Honestly, I just think she's she's the best moderator that I've seen. So I think you know, like I said, she adds that extra dimension of you know she's a New Orleans fan. Like she has a she always has something to say about um, anything New Orleans. So like when I when I watch the show, I'm like after a new after a Saints loss, whether it's a Saints win, or whether it's, uh, you know, God forbid they win the Super Bowl or something like that. <laughs> I definitely want to tune into the next day to see what she has to say. You know, like she, like she's, and like I said, the moderators are, are limited on what they get to say during a, a, a normal sports show. They don't really get to say much. But, you know, when they introduce, when they introduce the show, like when they start off, like she, she always has something to say. So, like, that's always interesting to me. So, I, I love, I love Jen Hill, really. Like, she's, she's just a great moderator. And I think they should definitely... I think the show has some hope, honestly, with her. But um, So hopefully uh, Skip Bayless can you know, appreciate her. You know, Skip Bayless obviously has ran off plenty of mods. He ran off Jenny Taylor right here. I mean, I'm sorry, Jenny Taft. Uh, he ran off Kerry Champion when he was on first take. He ran off Joy Taylor. So hopefully um, Jen Hill will stick with it. Hopefully Skip Bayless will appreciate her. Um, it seems like she's dealt with Skip Bayless for two years already, so you know that's a big plus. But um, so hopefully Skip can appreciate her. But um, that comes to the end of the video. If you guys have any um, suggestions of who you think is the best moderator, uh, definitely let me know. If you don't think it's Jen, or if you do agree that it's Jen, let me know in the comments below, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.